Hello everyone, it's Nani here again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the video I was going to do about the Festival Island setup, the Winter Fair setup, um, because I need to get mine set up. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So anyway, here's the quest to go visit the Fair Island, and you access that over here off your little islet. <clears throat> First thing you need to do, heard so many complaints about this already, is make some space somewhere. I went ahead and cleared this little area out right there, and I'm hoping that's big enough to hold my Christmas tree. Okay, so we're going to go over, and every day, down here on this islet, there's going to be a gift, and it's going to have festival stuff that you need, and it's going to have um, tickets. So that's where you will get your tickets. And you can also purchase them just by clicking on there if you're going to be working this a lot. All right, let's go. I'm not taking anything because I know the opening gift is going to give me what I need to get started. And 50 energy. Welcome to the fair. I'm going to try and not click through too quickly. Um... He's immediately telling you to talk to the three little fairies that are on the island. And you can see them over here. There's three. Um, here's one down here, which their chattering is covering him up. Another one right there. He's right there. They're so hard to see. And now they're going on about the Christmas tree in the center. So what you have to do, oh, well, let's grab our gift first. You, you have to click this gift. It's got all kind of good stuff in it. And immediately I'm on level two. I'm gonna pause for a minute because I hear my kid's pot about to go, um, hot water pot about to go off in there. Okay, kids are done in the kitchen, so where was I? Um, fairies. All right, three fairies. This one here. And then this one here. And then this one over here by the Brat Kids. Um, I'll do this one first. And it's going to give you baubles to decorate your tree. And this is the ice, ice sculpture one. All right. So you can see all the ice. Okay, let's get done with our chitter chatter. You're going to chop the ice, and, and uh, this big one grows back and takes 50 to chop it. I should have gone more slowly. All right, and then once you chop the ice, you can build an ice sculpture on these little pads that you see around. So he's going to put the block of ice, and I'm going to carve it. And you need these carving tools, and I'll tell you where to get those. Oh, it gave me a gift. Um, that's actually my favorite thing to do. For this festival is carve these ice sculptures you get really good points for those um you are going to run out of the carving tools and so you get those from fighting these kids down here and we'll do that in a second um there are also cash all around back here if you're going to do more than the minimum um you can find them in all the cash that are hidden in the back there um okay so we did that before I forget, let me go through and, and uh, grab the chests that are around. There are five. This one right here is a silver. And we've got another silver up here at the top behind the chalet. We've got down here a bronze. There is another bronze down here behind this, ch this tree. The last one is over here. So these are the five that are exposed. So you can grab those. All right, did that because I don't want to forget. Now we just talked to the little elf up here and we carved that sculpture and he gave us baubles so we can put those on the tree. So now we can talk to the next one, which is down here. I'll click on that one and he gives me baubles also. Um, and this is the one that wants us to start cooking. We got a bunch of uh, stuff from the gifts that we opened right here, and now 
they're showing you that here's the cinnamon. There's a little bit right here in front, so grab a cinnamon. And just do one. Um, if you come over and immediately harvest this, you're going to have to wait until you get this quest for it to count. So it just takes a little more time if you do that right away. So I'm going to do one of each, and it'll take me to the next part. And you level up real quick. So now it wants to start cooking. So you automatically have the stuff you need here. So I'm just going to put one in each of these and get it going. It's enough to do that, one in each of these. And you'll get um, some of this stuff every day from the daily gift that we get. And now I'm going to put those baubles on the tree. And the last one is this little guy down here. Also gives baubles, and they are going to want you to fight these kids. And that takes strength, which I do not have any because I just used it to chop my eyes. So here's this pond up here. And it holds 2,000 for the duration of the fair. But it'll only actually charge up to 200 at a time. So <clears throat> I just filled. So there's 150 less left in there, but it's counting down from the 2,000. And it'll recharge at the speed of 1 every 15 minutes until it hits 200 and it'll stop. So don't wait till the last second to come use all this, some of this. Because if you do, you're not going to have enough time at the end because it takes so long to recharge. Okay, so, oops, I'm going to come up here and harvest these things so they start to grow back. I forgot about that. Hurry up, hurry up. We'll get that. And these will regenerate. The cinnamon comes back in six hours. The cranberry in four hours and the ginger in two hours. And you need that for cooking in your little chalets down here. Okay, so we're gonna fight the kids. Um, hopefully I win. He got me. He got me. I will try again. I'll pick a different kid, unless that was, I don't remember which kid I picked. Well, dang it, I am not having luck. Okay, anyway, um, I'll come back and fight the kids later. Do I feel like taking? All right, I'll try one more time, just because I'm making a video. Maybe I need to not sit there. Okay, that's it. I'll come back later. Um, anyway, if you're gonna do the minimum, I got a screenshot for minimum. Here we go. If you're gonna do the minimum to complete the quest over here, let me get these up. So, once you win a snowball fight, then the next quest is going to come up and it'll have the gold queen's coin and i think you have to fight oh my cat is scratching her nails you have to fight 25 times i think i don't remember i'll have to verify that and then you get a queen's coin that's the kids um the chalet one once you feed there here i can do that one i'll speed that up So, it wants you to feed a chalet, and I don't think I clicked the right one. Each one of these takes, when they're in blue mode, you can see the blue mode. When they're in blue mode, they each take a different one. So, you can pick and choose based on what supplies you have, what you want to do. It was this one, so I'm going to go ahead and feed that one. Now, if you only do these on blue mode... You can see this one's green. If you wait until this goes back to blue, then you'll need fewer supplies um, to finish that quest. Let's see which one it is. So this is 120 chalets, and people get, <coughs> excuse me, people get a little 
freaked out by that number, it really is very easy to do if you do like five or six a day, which you can do in one round if you cook one in each of these. And usually I even skip the one that requires cocoa. Where's that one? Let me see. And now the cat is chomping behind me. Um, I usually skip this one. It takes so long. It's like two hours or an hour and 40 minutes and it takes the beans. And even if you skip that one and just do the other five, then and only feed them on when they're on blue mode then you only need the minimum of supplies which is right shown right here 110 milk 86 flour 110 eggs and 14 cream and with that you can complete this 120 quest over the course of the month and get that one queen's coin there are you eating behind me i hear you missy so this is doing the minimum, and you can see that on this list right here, I do not have the one that's even got the cocoa, the chocolate in there. So, depending on how much work you want to do and how many supplies you want to use to complete this quest, this is like the least amount of supplies we have figured out you can do it with. So there's that. And, and the 120 really is easy because you... You know, you put in the five, skip that one, put in these five, then feed each of these chalets, and then, you know, come back an hour later and wait to, for it to be on blue. And if it's on blue, then um, it takes fewer supplies. So basically, this is going to be ready again in, in its 15 minutes. And if I feed it immediately again, it'll be the next level. Um... His mood is excellent. It'll go up even again, but it'll require more to feed it. So if you are trying to save on your supplies, then just wait until that goes back to blue. Okay, so that's that one. I wish I could remember how many snowball fights it is. I think it's 25 um, to get the, the queen's coin. It's not that hard. Now, this is carving 50 ice sculptures. Like I said, this is my favorite one to do. It's the easiest one to do. Um, it does require strength to chop the ice, and um, I don't think I, yeah. So I did another video a minute ago that has all the maps that shows you where the large ice chunks are at. There are several of these large ice chunks. They're the most cost effective as far as using your strength back here, and you can look and see where they are and just kind of make a beeline for them. Um, see, that's 20 strength to chop that little one but you don't get as much ice so really doing these big ones are the best one and it's easy to do 50 in the month given um to do that now as i said before if you guys don't remember when you put these on here here let's give her one when you go to carve that you need these tools and you get those from fighting the kids so that's that's the easiest way to get them. If you have energy and you want to chop back here and find the cache, they're going to be in the cache. And then, did I put my last thing of balls? I didn't. Um, the other way is when we get our tree back onto our home island, which we'll do right now here in a minute, then um, you have a chance of winning some carving tools in the spin. But the best way to get them is fighting these kids down here. Okay, so I just finished decorating my tree, and now I get this tree to take on my home island. You can't really skip this part. Um, all right, let's get through there. So one more thing. If you're finding that you have a hard time coming back to harvest these up here, and you want just a little bit more, but you don't want to open a whole bunch of island, open this part back here. This part back here has quite a bit of each of those things that you need. It also has a gold energy chest and a bronze energy chest back here. So usually I open just this area right here. Okay, so let's go back to our home island and put our tree. I shall go without cargo. And I made a spot for it. And I'm going to get one of these ice caskets, which are great. You get randomly dropping gifts out of those ice caskets also. 
So every day, like every day you come, there's going to be a gift on this eyelet. Also every day after reset, you're going to get a free spin off this Christmas tree. So, and you see, you can get the Queen's coin there and you can get the carving tools and some other things. So every day, and sometimes there's a little icon above it. Some years there have been, oh my gosh, look, I got 30 right there. Yay. Um, I'm not sure yet, since we haven't had a reset yet, if there's going to be a spin icon or not. So try to remember to do that if there isn't one. Okay. So, and unfortunately, I only have one person here. When I click on here, every day when you do these send and receive gifts, you're going to get baubles. So let's do that, and I should, but I'm only going to get, there I got one because I had one neighbor. So when you go over, let's see, if, I hope I have some in there. I probably don't have any. You click on this tree, I do, I have a few, and you trade in these baubles, and then you will find these little gifts laying around your island. So some crazy people I know save all these baubles and they end up with hundreds and hundreds of them at the end and then they just sit here for the last couple of days and trade in and collect their presents. Um, I'm not quite that crazy. I do end up with some at the end, but I try to keep up with that so that I'm not stuck trading those in all at the end. So, um, you know, in five minutes, this little green present will be left around and you got to go find it. And there's usually an eye here once there's a gift to find and you can use the eye to find your gift. So I think that's basically it for setup. So um, every day you'll get some of the supplies you need um, to do your crafting. You can craft and get up to um, three of the gold coins just from completing these quests that are here on the side. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. I want to do that. Once you get your Christmas tree over decorated and over to your home island, then you can access that big island of dearest wishes, which I'm not doing this year. Um, but once you get this island set up, then you can access that island. You have to get all these little starting quests going. So, basically what I do is I open this little part down here that gives me plenty. I do like a minimum here, unless I really want something, and then I will start crafting supplies. But if you're going to just do, just starting, and just going to do the minimum work, work on a few of these a day. Um, work on these ice sculptures. Come back and chop ice in six hours. Work on fighting these kids. And the numbers that you're seeing there... 120. It's not that bad. It really is not that bad. So don't don't freak out. Just chip away at it a little bit every day. Okay, so I'll go without cargo. I'm going to go ahead and make my first visit to that island. I don't have any energy hardly saved up on this island. Only 4k. It's not nearly enough to clear this island. You need about 22 to 25k to clear the island. So I'm just going to make... Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to take one lemon... I'm going to take a lemon. I know I need one lemon. Seriously, I do not have any lemons. I literally have no lemons. Are there? Oh, look, there's one right here. I'll get that. Yeah, you have a lemon. Okay, I'm going to take one lemon because I know that will help me to complete that one quest over there. Look at me going with one lemon. That's hysterical. All right, 20 to travel. So even if you're not doing the island, make sure to do this one trip with one lemon. Oh, and now the game crashes. I am so thankful for the pause button. Okay, I don't know what crashed the game, but I just refreshed it. All right, so the visit over, you get 100 energy and some points which got me to the next level. I love this festival. You really can get a lot. I'm not going to listen to all the stuff. As I was saying, I'm not going to do this island on this account. I don't have the energy. 
I am going to come over here. I'm going to collect that silver chest that's hiding behind that chalet. Alright, and it gives you the opening quest here, which is pick your rowan berries um, and make a rowan berry drink. So I'm going to pick the rowan berries that are right here in the front. Always keep looking around for something else hidden. All right, and I'm gonna make a drink, and I need the one lemon for that. Okay, and that's about all I'm gonna do. So I'll come back in an hour and collect that and get these few extra points. That's all I'm doing on um, this account. If you are planning on doing that island, let me just give you the map again. It is a big island. It's 22 to 25K. You start down here, getting all this row and stuff. Once you do that, this gate opens over there. And you come around like that. Um, it's a biggie, but it is really a cool gift, uh, a cool reward. So anyway, that's that. I hope that was helpful for you newbies out there who have... Uh, never done this fair before it's really a lot of fun it's easy to level up it's easy to get your queen's coins um, and other points and get some really cool gifts so and don't forget to open your ice casket oh and I got a Christmas tree from that ice casket you don't always I don't know every fifth or sixth one you can uh, get a gift and you can buy those and that's usually what I do past couple of years I spend my coins on these ice caskets. I have 118 of them. You can get florins if you are in need of florins. Um, lots of cool stuff. You can buy the queen's coins. I think it's 800 of these of the blue ones to get the to get one queen's coin. It's pretty pricey. So I have eight in storage, I'm going to be able to get one of these Christmas chalets this year. So it's been several years I've been doing just the minimum quest, and this year I will have enough to actually get my festive chalet. So, okay, you guys, that's it. Um, hey, hey, uh, don't forget to like and share, please, and to subscribe if you can. And have fun with the winter fair, and I hope to see you guys having a 